Hello, uh, we're in Lee, en enemy territory, with Mikey Billow. He doesn't, he doesn't want to be filmed for legal reasons. Uh, we're, we're, we're on Smackhead Patrol. Whenever you go to Lee, you'll always see a Smackhead with a beard, a bob cap on, usually a dog on a piece of string. And you can see, up, you can't see up there. But we're, on, we're, we're just following a smackhead because basically we've nothing better to do with our lives than follow smackheads around. See these are average Lee people in the caravan. Good evening, you all right? Whenever you come to Lee, there's always like some a gypsy playing a flute. It's like a, a traditional welcome. For Wiganers, because they kind of like they, they bow down to us as as great beings, you know. You, you have loads of good charity shops in Lee. The main drag's full of charity shops. You've got the YMCA. You can go there if you're feeling down. Um, the Oxfam, Age Concern. Look at Lee. It's like it's like Sunset Strip in in America, isn't it? Do you feel like you're on Sunset Street? I do, it's great. There's a pharmacy where you can get all your methadone and everything like that, you know, it's belting. I, I, might, I might actually move here, you know. And there's even a pound bakery down there, you can't see it. <coughs> Excuse me, our pound bakery's bigger. Where's he gone, that baghead? Has he gone up there? Right, we'll just walk past. Past the caravan of love. Walk this way, Mike, we'll, we'll film, but hang on. Group four's here. Taking some woman a child benefit with 11 kids. He thinks I'm sizing him up for a fucking bank job. But some old woman. Is she going to stop a fucking bank robber? What's she going to do? Beat him death with a fucking stick. Smackheads on mountain bikes. It's brilliantly. Get them off the door. It's quite surreal with this music, this weird part music played by a gypsy walking through the town centre, you know. I'm just hoping some somebody from Lee will batter me. I deserve to be battered because everybody hates me in Wigan now. You know, so it's only fitting if somebody from Lee battered me. Uh, I'm not funny anymore. Um, I'm all washed up. Well, you know, sing, but sing song. what song should I? Sing a song for the camera. No, I'm not singing. I'm not singing in Lee. Good Evening. You all right? What do you like? like what, what's good about living in Lee? I don't know. I don't live in Lee. I don't blame you. <laughs> Could you ask you what's good about living in Lee? So far we've got two negative responses, you know. Just these people. Excuse me, can you recommend any shops in Lee we could go to? No. Okay. Let's go and find that baghead. I've got this woman there, we've approached that woman, it's probably, it's technically assault, you know. I'm just making a video of no do. I've got a blackberry now, I'm all posh, you know. Excuse me, what's good about living in Lee, can you tell me? Nothing, it's a pile of shit. Is that, have, you any, have you any thoughts on that? Do you live here? Yes. There wasn't, there's nothing good? No. It's got a pound bakery though, I'm trying to defend Lee, I'm not coming here to slate it, you know. But, have you any thoughts on what's good in living in, in Lee? Nothing, love. Nothing? Better, is it better than Wigan? <laughs> Um, I think it's only fitting that we end this film, basically, at Rashid's Cupra Cigarettes. Um, so basically, that was a walk down Lee. Um, can you tell me what's good about living in Lee? Nothing. Right, that's conclusive proof, really. Um, goodbye from Rashid. Goodbye from Michael. Uh, give me fingers. Give me fingers. <laughs> <And> <laughs> goodbye from young Michael. Bye-bye. William, bye-bye.